Unit 5. 어휘 지도. 1. 새로운 단어 학습. There are lots of new words in this chapter. Read through and underline the words you don't know. I don't know this word. R E S P E C T. Oh, respect. Repeat after me. Respect. Who can tell me what this word means? Nobody? Okay, then look at the picture. There's a clue. 어휘 학습의 중요성. Who can tell me why we have to learn vocabulary? It's very important to know lots of words. Your expressions become richer if you know many words. Vocabulary is the basis of English language learning. All sentences are made up of words. If you don't know the words, you'll not be able to make any sentences. You are not able to listen nor speak if you don't know the words. Even though your grammar is good, you'll have difficulties if you have poor vocabulary. Try to learn more than five words a day. Always note down the new words as we go along. When you're studying new words, you have to be able to actually use them. It's useless if you don't know how the word is used. Always check how the new word is used in sentences. You can communicate with native English speakers with just a few words. 새로운 단어 소개 Let's learn the new words. How many new words are there? We have some new words. There are lots of new words in this chapter. This is the list of new words we're going to learn today. I'll write all the new words on the blackboard. Tell me if there's any word that you don't know. Underline the words you don't know. Write down all the words you are not familiar with. Circle the new words as you read along the passage. 새로운 단어 학습 Everyone, please read the new words loudly. Who can tell me what this word means? Who knows what a pot is? Who knows what donjida is in English? Do you remember the meaning of the word? Can you guess? I'll give you a hint. Look at the picture. There's a clue. This word has a lot of meanings. In here, it is used as like. This time, this word is used as a noun. I remember telling you this word last time. We have already learned this word in our previous lesson. This word has a similar meaning to the word quiet. I told you it's the opposite word of clean. Does it ring a bell? Match the word with the right meaning. The meaning of this word is number one, not number two. The thing this boy is holding in the picture is a mug. 단어 읽는 방법 How do you read this word? How do you pronounce it? Can you say it? Oh, you don't know how to read it? Call out its spelling. Please spell out the word. You read it pleasant. This word is a little bit tricky to pronounce. When this word is used as a verb, it is pronounced differently. E. 사전 찾기 Wow, we have so many new words to check. What should we do? Why don't we look them up in the dictionary? Shall we? Have you all got a dictionary in front of you? Can we also use our phones? If you promise you'll only use it for looking up the new words. Now, please find the first word in the dictionary. 사전 이용하기 There are so many new words. Now what shall we do? What do you do when you meet difficult words? Of course, you can ask your teacher. However, what if you are studying alone? You can look up in a dictionary. 
Let's learn how to consult a dictionary. I'll help you if you don't know how to use a dictionary. Let's find the meaning of the word using the dictionary. Do you all have a dictionary? Have you found a dictionary on your phone? An internet dictionary is okay too. You may use your smartphones. We're going to use an English to Korean dictionary today. Try to use an English to English dictionary. 사전 찾는 방법. Let's look up this word in the dictionary. Let's find bottle in the dictionary. This word begins with A, so you have to find the A section first. Next, find the letters in alphabetical order. Let's use a web dictionary today. Open the dictionary window. Type the word in the search box. Did you all find the word? What does it say in the dictionary? How many meanings does it have? Normally, the meaning in number one is the most popular meaning of the word. If the first meaning doesn't make sense, you have to find the right one among others. What's the second meaning of the word? It says clear in the dictionary. Please read the sample sentences in your dictionary. Sam, 단어의 의미 추측하기. When there's a word you don't know and you don't have a dictionary with you, you have to guess its meaning. For instance, can you guess the meaning of this word here? Yell. I don't know. The clue is in the picture. What is the man doing? He's shouting. That's right. So we can guess that yell means shouting. 의미를 추측하도록 유도하기. It is impossible to know all the English words. You can't always look up in the dictionary whenever you come across a new word. What if you don't have a dictionary with you? It's not good to use the dictionary too often. There's another method you can use when you don't know a word. You can guess the meaning of the word. Try to guess the meaning before consulting the dictionary. We'll learn to guess the meanings of new words. There are many clues that enable us to guess the meanings. As for the clues, there are pictures, context, grammar, and so on. 그림 및 문맥을 통한 의미 추측 Can you find a clue for this word? In this case, the picture can be a clue. Can you guess its meaning through the picture? What is the man doing? He's shouting. So, we can guess that yelling means shouting. Look at the context of the word. A context means the sentence or sentences around the word. Let's guess the meanings of words by looking at the context. The girl said she was sad because she lost her dog. What do you do when you're sad? Look at the next sentence, too. Why do you think she went to the bathroom? Now, do you get the meaning of weep? 품사 및 접사를 통한 의미 추측 Let's guess the meaning by looking at the sentence. You don't know the meaning, but you know it's part of speech. There's an adverb right behind this word, so it must be a verb. Now we know that it's a verb. Do you see any familiar part in uneasy? We already know the word easy. Try to remember what un meant in unhappy. Good, un has a meaning of not. Less means without. Then, what does careless mean? 실물을 이용한 의미 추측 What's this? Look at this. Look at this card. Have a look at this picture. What do you see? Do you know what it is? What do you see on the desk? What am I pointing at? What am I holding in my hand? What do you call this in the picture? Does anybody have any idea what this is called? 
Can anyone tell me what this is that I'm holding? Say it in English, not in Korean. Oh, you don't know how to say it in English? We call this chalk in English. What am I doing now? I'm jumping now. Sa, Tano Amgyagi. As for homework, memorize the words you have learned today. You have to be able to write them and know the meanings too. Are we going to take a vocabulary test? No, but I'll check whether you have memorized them. Pronounce the words loudly when you memorize them. 암기를 통한 단어 학습 Memorize them. You have to learn it by heart. Please memorize the words you have learned today. You have to be able to write it and know the meaning too. Practice writing it until you memorize it. Be sure to memorize it because it's an important word. Think about its meaning when you memorize it. Pronounce it loudly when you are memorizing it. Please write the words ten times. Write the meanings as well. Memorize the sample sentences too. You have to be able to make sentences with these words. I'm going to test you with the words next time. You have to memorize at least ten words in a week. There's no other way to learn words other than memorizing them. Find your own way of memorizing words. Use your spare time to memorize new words. You have to repeat and repeat in order to memorize a word. Why don't we memorize it all together? If you don't memorize it, you can't go home. 철자 익히기 How do you spell special? Please give me the spelling of station. Who knows how to spell flower? I'll spell out the word. Just spell it as it is pronounced. This word's spelling is simple. The spelling of this word is a bit complicated. You have to be careful with the spelling of this word. Always pay attention to its spelling when you write this word. Write the word paying attention to its spelling. 틀린 철자 바로 잡기 Look at the spelling very carefully. The spelling is a bit strange. Is this spelled right? The spelling is wrong. It's spelled wrong. It is not spelled right. This word is misspelled. You are missing a letter. You missed a letter. What's missing here? You should take out an I here. You need to add an E here. See how this Y changes to an I? Are there two N's or only one? Find a misspelled word and correct it. 5. 유의어 및 반의어 학습 Can you find a synonym of request? Synonym? What does that mean? It means a word with a similar meaning. For example, happy is a synonym of glad. I get it. Good. Then which word has a similar meaning to request? 유의어 학습 These two words have a similar meaning. Words with similar meanings are called synonyms. Happy is a synonym of glad. Find five synonyms of happy. Write a word that has the same meaning as happy. Which word has a similar meaning to request? Can you find any other words that have the same meaning? It has a similar meaning, but it's not a synonym. It's boring to use the same words again and again. People don't like to use the same words all the time. It's good to know many synonyms if you want to avoid using the same words repeatedly. 반의어 학습 These two words have opposite meanings. Words with opposite meanings are called antonyms. You can use un, im, in, dis, and so on to make antonyms. 
The opposite of in is out. What is the opposite word of careful? Can you find an opposite for this word? Find two words that have the opposite meaning of clean. These two words aren't antonyms. Use a thesaurus.